Since the day it became law in 1973, the Supreme Court decision that legalized abortion, Roe v. Wade, has been under threat. Despite the war between the so-called right to life and right to choose sides of the struggle, the actual history of the ruling as well as its meaning and the story of those involved is still shrouded in some kind of mist of time and memory. But it's a great narrative with fascinating arguments on both sides of the fence, and it's that story and those arguments that are dramatized in the often mesmerizing play Row by Lisa Loomer, directed by Bill Roche at Berkeley Rep through April 2nd. It covers a pretty wide span of years, which chronicles two principal characters and their stories. One is Norma McCorvey, who was Roe and Roe v. Wade, and her attorney. Tony Tacconi, artistic director of Berkeley Rep. The most obvious dramatic advantage that this story has, I'd say, is that Norma McCorvey herself, you know, has become a right-wing evangelical who is very, very outspoken against abortion. So right there you have the makings of just a fascinating character study. We first meet Norma McCorvey in her hippie days. She's pregnant, doesn't know or care who the father is, and just wants it taken care of. The attorney, Sarah Weddington, wants a test case that might go to the Supreme Court and sees Norma as her chance. Norma thinks at first that she's using Sarah, and Sarah knows that she's using Norma. The conflicts are set up, and in Act 1, the case eventually comes to trial. Act 2 occurs after the decision as we follow the lives of both Norma and Sarah, and that's where the play moves into interesting territory. It's easy for those in the theater to understand the right to choose, and it's harder to get a grasp on the other side. What Lisa's done really, really well is to try to put this series of oppositional stories into, you know, a theatrical box that you have to argue with while you're watching with it. Her real goal is to lay out the issues for you and have you both side with the characters and argue with them in your head. What sustains Roe are the characterizations, both in the text and in the performances. In particular, Sarah Bruner as Norma McCorvey and Sarah Jane Agnew as Sarah Weddington. They're not friends, and they're not quite antagonists either. Leading the supporting cast are Catherine Castellanos, who gives a superb performance as Connie, Norma's girlfriend, and Jim Abili as the pro-life preacher whose ministry moves next door to the abortion clinic where Norma works. These four actors go for the emotional and psychological cores of the play. On one level, what the play Road does is lay out the history and the issues in an easily digestible form, but on another level, it's a play about people particularly about Norma McCorvey, whose death this February just adds poignancy to the story. Roe by Lisa Loomer, directed by Bill Roche, plays at Berkeley Rep only through April 2nd. For more information, you can go to berkeleyrep.org. I'm Richard Walensky on Bay Area Theater for KPFA.